So before we get into the nitty gritty of this video, once again, I want to thank the Star Citizen community. We hit 3000 plus subscribers, which is crazy. You guys have been absolutely crazy awesome. And because of that, we're going to be doing a giveaway. We're going to be giving away two cutter starter packs, specifically the uh, holiday uh, edition. There are several ways in which you're going to be able to take part on this. Uh, the easiest way is going to be following me on Twitter or now known as X and also tweeting a specific tweet or or post i don't even know how to refer to x or, or twitter now there are going to be several other ways in which you can uh, take part in this and i'm going to be dropping a link of that in the description below and once you click on the link it should look something like this i'm going to be leaving the giveaway window open for about a week and once it closes the software should be picking the two winners and i'll be announcing them about a day or two after and i just want to let you guys know that every time we hit a milestone in this channel let's say 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 subs i'm gonna be doing something like this every single time because this is my way of thanking you guys for showing so much support uh, in this channel because man you guys are awesome i love this game i'm gonna keep making content for this game so as usual if you're liking this type of like content videos make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel and it's time to get to what we came here to do so last time we checked out Dama, we're gonna be checking out all the moons that has uh Aphrodite, Hadonite, and Dolbine to see which moon is the most efficient uh, as far as rock mining in general. So we're going to be going to Aberdeen and I've heard that Aberdeen is uh, quite a place. We're going to be needing this uh, beefy suit right here <laughs> so that uh, we don't melt and the conditions that that moon has to offer to us. If you missed that Daymar video, it's going to be in the description below or like a little small car should pop up in the top right of this uh of this video all right so let's buy this beefy suit man it's it's quite expensive pembroke <laughs> exploration suit 14,181. that is that, that is insane man that's insane not only that but i think the helmet sells separately which is uh man they're they're man that's a lot <laughs> wait four yeah 14k and then which i already bought and then the helmet where's the helmet at should be here there it is 11k so a total of uh what 20 25k yeah i can do math right i think we are uh ready to go let's uh wait let me let me get out of the inventory no what am what am i doing there you go let's uh <laughs> look at me man oh my goodness this is this is quite a suit now in reality now to be honest in reality to be honest yeah both bo both we're really I don't think we actually need this but i just like to dress for success because uh we're gonna be in the rock uh we don't really like we get on the the rock and then we drive out of the ship with the rock and mine we don't ever get out of the rock now if something were to happen something goes wrong we have the suit on we're able to get out and run to the ship so uh we're good to go now same rules are going to be applied to this mining run we're going to do it all within an hour to see how much we find within an hour and how often we encounter both had a night and uh dolvine which i i dislike dolvine you you guys should know this by now and if you're new to the channel i dislike dolvine i just think it's a waste of time and there is a rule to that as well that if i find a cluster of eight plus i will take it or and I should I should increase that to 10 anyways let's grab our beautiful c1 spirits and uh, let's get going every time I walk out to get this ship I just don't get tired of it yes I I I confess I might be a c1 simp <laughs> a c1 simp now man I'm always simping over this ship it's so awesome ah oh, so it's such a beauty it's a beauty all right <laughs> enough talking let's let's get out of here oh boy we are here to pick up the rock this is my first time here actually actually grabbing a rock from from the mining station here in in aberdeen so let's see where is the i wasn't even paying attention right here right here let's park right in front of it let's get our my landing gear out <laughs> i was gonna say mining gear 
our landing gear out. There you go. And oh, this is like a very nice spot to land. There you go. Let's do like right there. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I've heard the horror stories of the Aberdeen as far as like the weather and there not being a lot of like, um, what's it called? Like leveled, like the, the, the land is not that leveled to land on. I think that's what I've heard. We're about to find out. First time here as far as like mining goes. So let's see how it goes. You know, now that I think about it, uh, we do need the, the suit for, uh, for Aberdeen because, uh, for this part specifically, because we have to come in here and retreat the rock and then put it into the, uh, into the ship. Man, this looks good. <laughs> I just love this ship. Let's grab the rock. Look at the mountains, man, in this, in this place, in this moon. That is freaking cool. This is quite an atmosphere. Oh, hey there. What's up? <laughs> That's quite a camera angle. Let's see. Let's change that. There you go. Look at this suit, man. This is crazy. Like this. I really like this. I'm missing the backpack, but I really, you know, I actually came unprepared. I should have grabbed the backpack and my multi-tool just in case something happened with the rock because we learned that uh, the hard way a couple of videos ago. So hopefully nothing happens to this thing and uh, we can make some profits. I don't know why this is one of my favorite parts of this whole process. Just uh, driving the rock into, oh, there you go, driving the rock into this uh, awesome ship. Just look at the colors. Uh, yeah, my bad. I always do that. I always hit like the right side of it. I don't know if it's me or it's just like an issue, like a collider issue. Uh, so let's turn this off. There you go. Get out of this. So I'm not completely sure if OM1 is still efficient in Aberdeen. I usually do OM1 for all the moons because that's where it's usually, I'm saying usually a lot. That's where it's usually daytime. So... And I've heard too that the visibility in this moon is not so great. So we're about to find out. While we make our way down there, which moon is your favorite one so far as far as like uh, rock mining in general, not just head and I, cause I know that this one right here so far as, as, as far as what I've heard, this one is the king of head and night, uh, lots of head and night in this moon. So, my favorite leaving, like not taking Hat and Nine into account is Magda. Magna is such a beautiful, Magda, sorry. Magda is such a beautiful uh, moon. And it's in this, still in this uh, area right here around Hurston. Uh, the second one that I like the most is Daymar, just because it's just, well, actually, kinda. Because it's it's good, like there's, it's a good, there's a good balance in between Hat and Nine and uh and uh aphorite but boy there's a lot of activity going on in that moon so there's a lot of opportunities for for pirates to take you down especially whenever you're on your way back to the mining facility to to uh you know sell your your goods man you cannot see a single thing <laughs> Oh boy, let's see how this goes. We are here and wow, yeah, you can barely see anything down here. I guess the rumors are true. There's the ground. We're going to be using the sun as our reference as usual, but wow, <laughs> this is crazy. But uh, it's time to get to, it's time to get down to business. We're going to send out the first ping and uh, ping or scan and start the, uh, the timer see how how much we can find down here our first patch let's see what this is and that's a huge patch too oh my goodness wow we're drifting like crazy here oh wait oh i know why i know why we were doing that fixed it okay let's uh let's see what this is let's go into scan mode and i can already tell this is had a night and boy, this is a huge patch. Wow. Just because I like to be thorough, gonna go still go ahead and scan this. Had a night. Yep. Wow. 
what is what is this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen yeah i think it's fifteen i, I don't want to waste time counting again i'm just gonna say fifteen this is a huge patch oh my goodness all right time to land let's not waste uh any time i think uh oh boy yeah there's like lots of rock rocks around this thing let's see let's do right here oh it's a little laggy too i think that's good let's see enough for the ramp i don't think that's enough space for the ramp let's move further over here i don't think these rocks are gonna hit the 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 wings i think we should be good uh that that looks about right all right let's lower the ramp <laughs> and let's see how that goes nice and smooth oh boy you know it doesn't look that bad it's pretty it looks pretty good out here we can see what's in front of us so maybe that's because there's no storm at the moment i'm assuming there are storms in this moon most of them have have it so all right let's uh let's get to uh that's not the button oh my goodness <laughs> well you're wasting time so you're supposed to go into mining mode and then press the the u uh the u key to power it on now we can get to it i need to back off a little i need to keep that optimal range in 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 mind first one to go uh pop you're supposed to pop now well, 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 that happens because I know we got it right. There you go. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. 14 more to go. Okay. Just gonna extract a few of these so that uh, the screen doesn't go crazy and start lagging on me. You know, now that I take an even closer look, I think the suit is absolutely necessary because I don't think the rock. Uh, I don't think the rock protects us from the. From the uh, from the weather outside, from the temperature outside, because as you can see, we are in this vehicle and it's 219 still Celsius, which is that's a lot. <laughs> We're still in the red, so I could have already been done, uh, not done. Well, yeah, done, dead uh, by now if uh, I didn't have the suit on. So something happened. Uh, I overshot one of these rocks and it ended up exploding in my face and pushing the rock all the way back and uh, damaging it completely. It's off. I can't turn it on and I can't move what was in it into into the ship, but it had 17 uh, SCU in it. So we're going to take that into account. I'm going to go ahead and pause the timer, go and get a rock, and hopefully we can uh, come back to this patch right here and finish it off. Was my was my ramp damaged too? Because that went up extremely slow. I wonder. Uh, let's check out the, the ship systems to see if it took any damage because it was quite something. Let's see. Uh, let's get into the seat. It should tell us, right? Oh, yes. Oh, please tell me that uh, we'll still be able to take off. If not, we are screwed. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, let's turn this on. on. Please tell me. Okay, we were able to take off. So hopefully we can repair this. Uh, let's see. I wonder, though, if we recall. Oh, wow. Look at this. <laughs> that was quite an explosion. Oh my goodness, look at this. It was quite an explosion. Part of my wings are 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 on the floor. I just noticed that. Let's see. Yep, they they came off. So first I'm gonna land here so we can repair the ship. Hopefully we can do that here. Not completely sure. Let's pull up the menu. Landing complete. Uh, should be this. Wait, not that one be this one right here yep yes i can let's uh do the whole thing now that the ship is repaired let's uh land here again so that we can get the retrieve the rock respawn the rock and get back to mining why is this door still opening this slow 
That is weird. The ship has been repaired. I wonder what's going on. That's not normal. Or maybe it's always been this slow and I just, I'm just now noticing. I don't know. Uh, we're going to have to claim it because, uh, your insurance yep. claim has been sent. That sucks. <laughs> Let's Thank pay. You. It should be like a minute for it to, for it to be ready to go. All right, round two. And this time I got a bunch of uh, pings. So uh, let's see what this is. Mm, that's not a huge cluster like last time, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, this is not a good one. Dolvine and it's uh, what? Uh, four, five, six of them. Green is like kryptonite. When you, whenever we see green, that's bad. We have to run from it. Run from it. Stay away from it. There's another one over here, and there's a, there's a 5,000 uh, to our right. So let's see what uh, these have in store for us. And we got Hadonite, a patch of six. Let's do it. All right, round two, here we go. We are still going to take into account the 17 SEU that we had in the last patch. So whenever we uh, get to the point where we're ready to sell, we're going to multiply that by the amount that uh, the Hadonite is selling for. And uh, yeah, include that in, in our estimate. Yeah, that one hurt me. That was a patch of 15, man. That was... That was a really good one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have dreams about this. <laughs> Probably nightmares. That was really bad. You know, Aberdeen is not as bad as I thought it would be. It's, it's been pretty chill. Uh, no huge storms. The visibility down here is not that bad. I'm able to see what I'm mining. I mean, it, it, it's bad whenever you're coming into the planet, like, like going into the, the moon, not a planet. But once you're down here, you're able to see what's, uh, what's in front of you unless it gets really really bad and i haven't experienced that part of it yet all right now time to extract traction done let's see uh what else we find let's see what this is it's in an interesting spot too it's a big cluster uh had a night yes let's take that hopefully they don't uh roll down <laughs> let's see do i have my I, don't, I can't recall if i have my landing gear up Oh yeah, it's down. Okay, cool. All right, so let's uh, let's get this sorted. Uh, this is a good spot right here. Oh, oh, we're sliding. We're sliding. There you go. All good now. So so far, none of these uh, diamonds or rocks have been rolling down as I break them apart. So that's that's good news. One hour later. So I had to step out, and when I came back, the rock timed out because I was using the rental. The good thing is that I moved everything that was in it into the ship. So we're back here. I also stopped the timer, and I uh, have now resumed it. So uh, let's see what else we can find before uh, that time runs out. All right, so we found a patch. Let's see what it is. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, and it's had and I. We already know because of the color. So we're gonna land over here nice and smooth and this time i'm going to oops 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 i'm gonna land this a little bit farther out from from where we're gonna be working at because last time you know we had an accident and oh i don't have my landing gear there you go we had an accident and the rock ended up damaging my ship too because i was too close to it i think i'm gonna invest into a great cat rock with the uec money that uh, we make from from this run so we don't have to keep doing the rental and stuff that's just a waste of time so for the next video i should have that already sorted out man this right here is the kind of rock that i like 75.38 or 39 percent had a night because i've i've been running into those that uh Oops, I was, see, man, that's why I don't talk while I'm doing this. <laughs> uh, yeah, because I've been running a lot into the ones that are like 50%, 60%. That doesn't give you a lot of uh, hat and night. Mostly it gives you a lot of inert, uh, inert materials. We don't want that. Well, it happened again. Yep, it happened again with a good patch. Man, these rocks are, they have been giving me trouble, man. <laughs> they have been giving me trouble and I have the the multi-tool with me, but it ain't doing anything to it Like let me let me show you real quick So let me pull it up Scanned it's already scanned and let me the the, the power is already to the max as you can see uh, Let's see. Yeah, it's already full power and nothing is happening like that bar on the left is not going up or anything so 
I don't think these are I think these are too big now for for the for the multi tool for it to do anything to it. If I'm doing this wrong, let me know because I mean it worked last time uh, a while back, but now it doesn't. So uh yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and sell. These were some very complicated runs, but at least we got a sense of uh Aberdeen. Uh we got to uh, to experience Aberdeen what Aberdeen is all about. I already said Aberdeen like three, four times already. And uh, it's a good moon. And I'm going to get my thoughts afterwards after we sell this hat at night. All right, let's see how much we make with what we have in the in the C1. And then we have to take into account the 17 SCU that we lost in the first really good batch of 15 that uh, <laughs> ended up uh, pretty badly. So let's see. Uh, let's go here. Yep. And it's selling for 275 at the moment. Right now we have 451 in the ship. So that's 124k. Let's sell that. There you go. And then we're gonna calculate the rest. So we made a total of about 128, and that's including human error. This is the first time that two rocks explode on me within one run. Never has this happened. So uh, we could have potentially made more given the fact that we were only running into lots and lots of hadenite on this moon. So my first quick impressions on Aberdeen, it's a really good moon. There's tons, tons of hadenite now. As far as visibility, the only issue that you might have is once you're making your way down into the moon, like you can barely see what's down there. But once you land and you take the rock out, you could easily see what's in front of you, what you're mining, which is the most uh, important part of this uh, of this process and uh, the terrain. Now, the terrain, as you can see, uh, as we're flying, cruising through through the moon there's lots of mountains but where i've gone especially om1 orbital marker one it's pretty flat like not extremely not super flat but it's it's manageable you you won't see any of these crazy mountains in that area so if you come to aberdeen and you want to avoid mountains like this go to om1 we could have made more than 128k within an hour but uh, there was a lot of human error involved <laughs> two rocks exploded on me and that was just because i wasn't paying attention or the the what's it called the resistance was insanely low and i'm used to had a night having lots of resistance so uh that that played a part as well but i would love to hear your thoughts do you like aberdeen more than damar or damar more than aberdeen i am going to be checking out the rest of the moons which i'm looking forward to so make sure you drop a like and subscribe to this video for more content like this and other shenanigans i will see you guys in the next one zero haze out